Based on the question we got about three-way calling and whether it works, we wanted to go ahead and make another video discussing how to actually do a three-way call because this is a real problem with new people in MLM, maybe even experienced people who've never been trained right. A three-way call, and let me back up. I think the reason why we got this question of does it work is because it probably isn't working and I bet you the reason why it isn't working is because it isn't being done right. So. The point of this video is to get you on track so you're doing your three-way call your three-way call scenarios, you're doing them right, you're getting everything lined up correctly, you're making sure you're using the proper procedures because this can, you know, it can be a train wreck or it can be a huge growth thing for your business. So Chris, how do you make a three-way call be a huge growth thing for people's businesses? Well, there's three things I really want you to burn into your memory. Uh, the first one is make sure you know the technical side of three-way calling. This is the most frustrating thing as an upline. And I've been on both sides where I've been the upline and also the, the team member doing it. Before you do a three-way call, make sure you know how to use your phone to switch over or flash or merge in the third person. There's nothing more frustrating, embarrassing, and unprofessional than hanging up on one person. Oh, let me call you back and do this. 20 minutes later, you have it figured out. So practice before you do one in real life is a first point. The second point is make sure you give your upline or whoever you're doing the three-way call with, give them, a, give them a good, set them up on a good stage. Like um, set them up so they, they come in with the person knowing their background. For example, let's say I'm in Jason's downline and Jason's gonna be the person on a three-way call or a three-way presentation. So what you don't do is I want to say, hey, Mr. Prospect, I want you to talk to this guy I know his name is Jason. Well, the prospect's like, well, uh, okay, who's this dude? I mean, <laughs> was he sitting on the couch at home with his mom? I mean, like, well, well you know, who is this yeah. guy? So rather what I'd say is, uh, you know, hey, Mr. Prospect, there's this guy I work with I really want you to talk with because I think you guys can, uh, can share a few ideas. His background is actually running a very successful law firm in Northern California. And then he actually switched over to doing this business because he wanted to be able to make the same income, but not have all the stress and just have flexibility with his schedule. And the thing I think you'll like about it is he comes from a very professional background. I know you've got 20 years as an executive at this company. So I think he can give you a really good point of view on here. Now, if you notice now, when I do this three-way call, and uh, my prospect talks to Jason, do you think he's gonna listen like, wow, okay, this guy is a real deal. Or he's at my level. Heaven forbid people have that attitude, but they just do. And I didn't go into, he's a triple star diamond director, <laughs> blah, blah. No, people don't wanna know, just a very short thing. So uh, do that and talk with your upline so they can kind of tell you what to say or kind of help you script it out so you know what you're doing. Now, the third thing is once I connect Jason on the phone is I do a quick introduction and I shut up. I bite my lip, zip my lips, and let Jason control the conversation. Now, I know what used to happen to me is I'd say, oh, I, oh, I know, you should say this instead or I can answer that. Well, guess what? I might have three months of experience and Jason has three years or six years. He knows what he's doing. He's got a methodology to what he's doing. So the best thing to do is make the introduction, zip your lip, and take notes and learn. Yeah, couldn't have said it better myself.